Hey, what's up guys? It's Asensio here, back with another episode, but today I'm not going to be playing any games. I just, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about something. For the past couple of days, it's just been kind of weird. Um, not, not like anything really, how would I say this? Nothing so bad, or too bad, I should say. Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to bring up something, you know, because... I feel like a lot of people, especially today in our age or in our generation, is that uh, people are scared to be weird. And what I mean by that is that if you have a difference of opinion, you f like the majority of us, I know because I felt the same way, we will be shamed for thinking what we think. So what I mean by this is that, for example, I don't really like to talk about like this kind of subject, but politics. My opinion, I don't have like I hate, <laughs> not hate. I, I shouldn't say that. I dislike both candidates. Okay, I'm neither one or nor here or there. I believe that because I am Christian, not like those extreme Christians that you see on. Um, like the Republican side, no, like no offense there. Oh, by the way, I got a, I got a new mic. So, um, I believe that we should love one another in the same way that, like, hey, that guy's my brother. You know, we we will have our differences here and there because, like, in any family, if you have brothers or sisters, you you're gonna have something that like icks you about them. Um, but you know that shouldn't stop you from still being like oh, voice crack wow that shouldn't stop you from being like hey i see your opinion i respect that i'll just leave it be okay so be weird and be weird so that you can become great because without being weird without being you there would no there would everyone would be a cookie cutter kind of thing you know like uh hey, let's say hey we all like like for example everyone loves apple yeah let's all get i mean i have an apple phone i fall right into it so let's get apple right and then there's that one dude with a samsung and he's like oh i just prefer this because it's uh it's like for example one of my cousins he really loves to draw and Samsung has those cool like uh, those pens that you can use that uh, basically help you draw on the phone like really nice and well and uh, I mean we've seen this uh, on on the internet where some girls are like ew you know this guy has a Samsung red flag or like shut up no stop leave stop. leave him alone everyone is entitled to their opinion like I just said but when it comes to something that can affect the other person mentally that's taking it way too far when i was younger i was i was bullied obviously i mean i was uh what like five five foot like three when i was in fifth no i was like five foot two when i was in fifth grade and uh that was uh during my middle school period and uh, I weighed probably like more than 190-ish pounds, maybe like close 200, honestly. I was, I was fat. And um, I mean, in some ways, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of being a little bit blessed because it helped me in the future find out like, hey, this is not some, well, it's bad until it's excessive so i feel like there's different levels of bullying but um i fell under the like it took effect kind of bullying so i was bullied for my weight and um when uh when i got older i was like yeah no, I don't, I don't want to be like this anymore. So, um, you know, that's when I enrolled into a gym. I was at Planet Fitness when I was like, well, my mom actually made me, but um, we kept going. I was 13 at the time and 
uh, we went to Planet Fitness. It was a really small uh, location, but uh, we went and, you know, my mom actually is, shout out to my mom. She's one of the biggest helpers that actually started me that in, in that kind of thing, ironically, because uh, right now I'm trying to help her lose weight right now. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, she started me on my fitness journey and it's been amazing so far. I mean, like I've done things that that scared me, but I'm so glad that I did. And uh, for for some context, um, you know, I, I pray to God pretty much every day and night. And uh, I always ask, well, in the Bible, it says that you should never pray for money because that's something that will distract you from him. And so you, instead of praying for money, you could you could pray for something like uh, like spiritual wealth. And, uh, you know, how would I explain this? I just searched it up because I'm terrible with definitions, but it says that spiritual wealth refers to the abundance of inner resources that enable us to live a meaningful and purposeful life. So when I prayed for spiritual wealth, I was thinking, oh, maybe God will, you know, send me money some way or another, like just like rewording it. But that is not the case. And I was thinking about it. I was driving today because uh, I went to go buy this microphone. But um, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, um, how how has this affected me, like praying for this? And I realized that it started as soon as I prayed for it, which is insane because I never thought, you know, like it would be instantly. So I remembered that when I first prayed for spiritual wealth, the thing that happened that I closely remember is that I enrolled myself in a tournament for jujitsu. And it was my first tournament, by the way, and I've only been practicing for five months. And I ended up in third place, which, you know, it's not first, but I'm still proud of myself. And I, because back then I was like, I, I couldn't compete with the other guys at all. In soccer, I was too slow and too, like, thick, I guess you could say, because I, I didn't have the endurance or the skill, you know, to shoot and score goals or, or uh, run fast enough because I was heavier than everyone. Like, you know, soccer dudes are all basically, like, fast sticks. But, um, so I was like, okay, I'll try, uh, I'll try weightlifting, and uh, I found out that, you know, as hard as I pushed myself, um, I, I, you know, there's all there's all those teens that are like, oh, I wish I could look like that that dude that's on roids that that has like uh, a he can bench two twenty five for like thirty. You know, we set unrealistic expectations for ourselves, and we never think about it because we always compare ourselves with that person because everyone has like some dude that like oh i want to be like that guy i want to be like like kevin larone arnold schwarzenegger i want to be like cristiano ronaldo and have a freaking 30 foot vertical like no you know it's gonna take time first of all it's gonna take time second of all it takes a crap ton of practice like a crap ton of practice and third of all you know it takes a high level of discipline and believing in yourself to go through with it because um some people don't believe in themselves at all and i'm i'm here to tell you today to believe in yourself you know that's why i also said be weird because being weird is what made all the greats great like for example michael jordan he was weird in the nba and they made rules specifically for the weirdness that he caused. I've, I'm I'm not 100% sure uh, what the rules were, but I know that it happened. And it's happened before with other the, the other greats, right? You know, love yourself and be patient with yourself is one of the biggest things. Because um, I, I have terrible self, 
image issues. Um, and uh, I'm also terrible at self-confidence. Like you will never see me be like, oh yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can totally beat that guy up or, you know, something like that. I, I don't do that, you know? Um, I honestly, I'm like 50, 50 in, in trying to determine what that kind of thing is in me because, you know, um, for example, Mike Tyson, he was like that, you know, he was that, he was that guy. He was him. He would be like, Oh, you know, I, I knock you out. I'll knock, I'll knock everyone out, you know? But then once he got older and, and like that fire kind of like died as soon as he got older it's 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 a little bit there especially with him fighting with like jake paul right now oh my gosh terrible thing but totally off topic mm -hmm. um he uh he became so humble like his entire persona just changed and uh and him being humble has actually caused him peace so uh, there's also another saying in the Bible where where the man that's the most cockiest will be struck down, you know, so he can be taken down a peg or two, and um, you know, there's there's so many rewards that come with being humble. So if you're humble enough to to learn from someone, to uh, take advice, you know, and and just humble in life in general, I feel like it's going to be so much more rewarding for you guys. And, um, it's just, uh, yeah, just be nice to your guys' self because we live in a tough world, whether we like it or not, especially now. I mean, the most recent thing that just happened that's huge is the assassination attempt to Donald Trump. And I don't think people realize how big of an event that that kind of situation is because the last assassination was like 40 something years ago or, or assassination attempt with Reagan, I believe some someone there. I have to fact check myself, but yeah, like that's huge. And I don't think my gen I'm Gen Z. I don't think my generation realizes how big that kind of thing is. So, um, and and funny enough, you know, we were talking about bullying and the they interviewed the classmates for the shooter that shot Trump and said that he was an outcast and that he was never spoken to and he was bullied because he wore like camo gear, I guess. And and it's crazy because to think that those kinds of things could be prevented if you guys just left him alone you know and um you know there's a thing there's a saying that energy cannot be created or destroyed it only goes into something else so for example me um since i was bullied i was like oh man i i hate these people i just uh like I'm going to come back all rich and, and, you know, flaunt my money in their face and have huge muscles and, and whatnot. And, and, you know, that's, it's, it's not the right way to go. Being humble is amazing because it te it not only teaches you, but it just makes you a better person overall. And the fact that someone could have, you know, gave in that weird kid a hug and that what was his name thomas he could have been like oh you know maybe life isn't so bad maybe uh maybe it's it there is some good in people you know because um i mean look at the other motives for all the other uh uh school shooters like most of them were bullied some of them have mental uh, problems just because of the way they were treated. Um, yeah, like it's everyone has their story and I'm not defending them. All right, because at the end of the day, everything is a choice. 
we have free will, which is a huge thing in the Bible, by the way, that I don't think a lot of people understand. And because uh, they're like, oh, why does why does God if God exists, then then why? Uh, why is it that evil exists? And why is everything terrible right now? You know, the economy is so garbage and and we have so many shooters and because there is no love with anyone you guys need to realize that you, you know what i just said energy cannot be created or destroyed it's just past it, it takes a different form so um for example some i don't know some some kid that was beaten by his dad where where do you think that energy from his dad went to it's gonna go back into his kid some way or another but the thing is is that when i told you guys my story the energy that you guys contain that that travels back into you you can form it and mush it into something else and just you know just a thought here i'm saying that you can form it into like a ball of of peace you know some a peace love humbleness patience and and be that shield for for someone else because you know um the some people don't have those kinds of shields and they don't have the willpower to be strong enough to to mold that energy into something else but if if you guys can take the chance or sorry take the time to mold that energy into into a love ball let's just call it a love ball and pass it on to someone else boom keep it that way you just diverted a whole crisis at that point like if if uh if one of those uh classmates of even one oh well there is also another saying where where it's like 10 negatives equal a positive but the thing is is that what with one of those positive outcomes positive it being okay being positive is such a huge factor it's uh it does more than you think so <laughs> like there's memes on the internet where it says like oh yeah it's there's a there's me fighting a a, do, a thief with a knife and the homeless guy that i gave five dollars to that's a <laughs> that's a real thing because you know as humans we evolved into that kind of way where like hey i help you maybe you can help me you know out of like the courteous of of your heart you know um but that's the thing you know people shouldn't think that way this is just an example but that's how kind of we grew and um you know obviously there's gonna be bad people and i don't think that should stop you from being good just because, you know, being good is one of the biggest drugs, the best drugs that you could give to someone because that could change their life instantly. You know, if, um, you know, I'm, I'm really blessed that I have, I had my family with me, especially, uh, be weird be weird all right quick sidebar just sidebar of this com this conversation so um funny story this is my weird story all right so um i went to a pet store and i was looking for cat food because my mom sent me to buy some cat food uh <laughs> um but um I was looking for the cat food, you know, I was going through the aisles. I was like, hey, where's the cat food? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So I pass the last aisle I pass, ironically. 
Um, there were, I, I, uh, I know at like PetSmart, you guys see like all the beta fish. You know how they have them in like those little freaking jail cups? That made me sad. Like so sad. I was about to start crying in the freaking aisle. I don't know why. It was just that day that made me sad. And I was like, like, heck no. I'm, I'm taking one of these fishes, one of these fish. Sorry, fish is not a word. I'm taking one of these fish back home, give him a new life. Just, just like, so I can feel good that I changed this fish's life. <laughs> This fish life, what? I don't know. My English is, my England is bad. Anyways, um, so um, at the beginning, I bought the food and I left. I I I was like, oh man, I'm so sad. Why didn't I? Why didn't I buy the fish? And so I went home and I brought the food back, and, the cat food back, and I told my mom. I was like, hey mom, uh, I got really sad when I saw the the little, you know, the alone fish just sitting there in the super, like the smallest cup that they could possibly give a fish. And, and, um, and I just got really sad. And my mom was like, why didn't you buy it? <laughs> and I was like, why didn't I buy it? You know? Um, and and so I was like, hey mom, you want to go buy a fish? She was like, yeah, sure. And she was like, when is the place closed? And it closes at nine, and I think it was like nine thirty at the time. I was like, oh crap, mom, we gotta go. We gotta go buy this fish. And I knew exactly which fish because when I stared at it in the aisle, it was like all like narco crazy, like oh take me home. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh crap, mom, we gotta go. It's about to close. And uh, long story short. Ah, uh, yeah, say what up, what up, I got him a little heater, I gotta fix that, yeah, look at my boy, he's chilling, yeah, I bought a fish, <laughs> I felt much more happier that I got him, because, just because I, if I could change his life just a little bit to make him happier, that's happy enough that's like great with me you know so um his name is arco by the way it's short it's uh, short for arco iris and arco iris means rainbow in spanish and uh i mean he's freaking colorful so he looks like a rainbow so i named him arco um so what i'm trying to say with this story is that if, if you could do something nice to help change someone's or someone or something's life for the better, just do it. You know, you're going to feel so much better knowing that you helped someone out and, and, and you're, you're just going to feel so much better. So, um, if you're watching this and, um, and you know someone, say you're you're in school or, or uh, you know, workplace, whatever, whatever it be. Make sure to let that person, because I know there's a there's always those type of people everywhere. It doesn't matter where you're at. There's always an outcast, and um. Take, take just take a couple seconds and be like, hey man, that's a cool shirt, nice clothes. Um, hey, where'd you get it at? You know, uh, be just be nice, be nice to them. It does it, it doesn't even have to be something like, oh, I love you. Mm. No, <laughs> obviously, um, nice just uh, even a little bit can change the flavor of something. So. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I don't want to keep yapping your ear off. Um, I will be playing games a little later because I'm really excited to test out this mic. So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, just know that you guys are loved and appreciated. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. I'll give you a hug.